Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Mockingjay Part 2 Movie Thoughts Now... I guess I should start with some of the things that they cut from the book that I really think are too bad when when they're trying to find shelter and they go into a capital home Katniss spots you know a, a capital citizen like opens their door or window or something like that I don't remember exactly and without hesitation she shoots him through shoots her them, I don't remember exactly the gender, shoots them in the heart. And without any, and it's not that the other person has a weapon or anything, it's to protect the, the, the unit. You know, the, yeah, the, this, the, the citizen would have, they, they would have, like, yelled for help or something and yeah, she just immediately, and I think that's a really compelling, like, Katniss has gone from, you know, hunting animals to survive, and then killing only in self-defense to also, yeah, killing this capital citizen in an extreme circumstance. And, you know, she still has PTSD from that as well as you know everything yeah the the killing other you know other tributes and and such and yeah I, I think that is a the fact that she's suddenly a suddenly that that she is in that situation willing to to do that at this point I think really speaks to how far she has come and not necessarily in a direction that you want to go you know and the the book also has her feeding pita soup just like she did in the first games and it's even the same kind of soup i believe and yeah that's they, they do a little bit of that where, you know, in this, where the, the things that have happened between the two, you know, happen again, or the, you know, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, he reflects on things that they have and the I think that I think it's it should have been stronger the I mean basically in in the book it's just basically Katniss loses everybody except for Peter and it's really, really heartrending in the book, and yeah, there's just there's a lot less of a of a kick to it in this, and I feel like the the thing with Peter also just it goes a little too fast in the film, and yeah, you know the the basic idea is that his warmth and sense of hope helps her through it and she even manages to feel so safe that she falls in love with him again and that also you know and and the having the the children also 
you know, in the first one she says she would never have children because they would have to go through the games or other kind of really awful things. And yeah, you know, here at the end, yeah, I, I feel like that it rushed a little, although the, you know, you love me, real, not real. I was so, I, I, I was done with the, with the love triangle. I never wanted it in the first place. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna care. I don't care who she picks. And I'm not gonna, and then still just, yeah. Both in the book and in the movie, it's just, you got me. I, I can't, yeah, that's, that's kind of sweet. Ah. And the, the, but yeah, the, I do think that they handled the epilogue fairly decently. I, I was wondering, you know, I, I should have figured, ah, of course, it's going to be a line. She's going to say that to, to someone else. And yeah, the, the closing lines with the game and yeah, the, the stuff about how, yeah, she, she will explain about the games and such when the children are older. And yeah, it's, I, I thought they did that pretty decently. And I was really worrying that, you know, that they were going to subject them, them and us to bad age makeup and I feel like they did mostly, mostly fine. And I think that, and I do think that the ending does basically make sense for Katniss. She didn't really, she, she wanted the, the games, you know, yeah, she wanted there not to be something as awful as the games, but she didn't really have, like, she didn't want to be, like, a politician or something. So the fact that they end up with this fairly simple and pretty isolated life, you know, I mean, she was never that much of a people person. She, and, yeah, she can, the, the... Yeah, I, I feel like it, it makes sense that she's basically content with that life. And I, I do think that... I, I wish the movie had made it clearer, basically, where the... Yeah, where, where the, the children are playing. Although, you know, we only... Yeah, one of them is playing with... with PETA, you know, that that is actually, you know, that that is where District 12 was, so the, the field that they're playing in, they don't know, actually a lot of people died there, and, you know, and that is, it is in the film, but I, I feel like it would have, maybe more, maybe a stronger visual suggestion of it or something but yeah the the fact that you know they don't know yet that that's you know people died there long ago and when they grow up they will learn that that you know they they will learn about the games and you know and and Katniss is you know yeah she's she's dreading when they will learn about that but you know she she keeps her spirits up with the game that yeah and I thought that the you know the letter from Annie was a quite yeah that, that was a good way to fit in you know where Gail went and the you know how her mother is that's that's one thing I really think they did well on as, you know, Katniss was, you know, 
yeah, sitting there and, and you know, her mother, and they, they just a little bit, it seemed like her mother might be going, going a little bit out of it again, starting to go catatonic. And yeah, I, that, that was a really good way because, you know, that, that really is in, in both versions. Yeah. She just, she can't, she can't go to 12. She's allowed to. But she she can't not after everything that's happened, and yeah, and I I thought that was a nice little. I mean, it doesn't in the film it doesn't say outright that she doesn't go to twelve, but we just hear that oh she's working in you know what was it district four or, yeah and yeah I th I thought that worked quite well and it was a really good idea to have that sort of acting moment to have the two of them you know be right there in front of each other and then we get this little indication because this is this is what happened the last time when when Katniss's father died yeah her her mother just couldn't handle it and she just she she basically you know I'm not sure it's completely like cats on yeah she 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 went out of it and Katniss had to be there for Prim and yeah it just you know it makes sense that she still can't and Katniss rather than just you know obsessing over that she she can't have Prim back you know she she raises children of her own because she has been taking care of Prim for years, so yeah, she she already has. You know, I mean, she's not she's not that much of a social person, but she is fiercely protective of her own of her family. So yeah, that now I I've seen suggested that the that that the the mission itself the yeah the mission to the capital didn't really accomplish anything i suppose to some extent you know it it just places Katniss there and then gets you know but she the rebels would have taken it even if she hadn't been there and yeah that that is unfortunate i yeah where where you know the the games something was always accomplished yeah that that really is unfortunate but the and the, there's of course you know in the in the book it's not too clear if the if the government new government will work out here it's very heavily suggested that you know yeah it probably will but yeah I, I like I say in the review I think that was necessary for a film and the yeah someone suggest online that realistically Katniss and Gale should have died you know, during the mission, like pretty much everyone else did, and yeah, that really would have made a lot of sense. If you know, it, it really is just main character invulnerability, you know, status kind of thing. But I do think that Katniss realizing that coin can't be trusted and that she used the you know Gale Gale suggested the 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 tactic and then Coin used that. In in the book it's even suggested maybe more than suggested that Coin may have even made sure that Prim was right there on the front lines. You know, she was like a 14 year old. Why would you put a 14 year old, you know, as a medic on the very front line, wouldn't you have like the most trained, you know, they, they've been training for this for ages in District 13, so the fact that she was even there, 
and that was maybe to make Katniss snap, and yeah, I think that it worked pretty well, and it was definitely nicely dramatic, the whole, you know, yeah, that, that final, you know, where she goes, and she's supposed to execute snow and just his eyes and smile and the and then she kills coin instead and she falls down with the arrow in her heart and the yeah it was very nicely done and the scene where she confronts snow not even knowing that he's going to be in there and the fact that she goes across this field of snow if i recall in the book it's like well, you know, she's just wandering around the, the the mansion, and she finds a cell, and yeah, she she finds something that looks like a rose garden, and you know, Paler has her let in, and it's you know, just like in the movie, but yeah, to make it much more visual and to have this, you know, all this snow, and then yeah, that that was a really striking image and very. Yeah, there you know there are times when you should make things more visual, and you know cut. That was very much a time where making it much more visual really paid off. Last minute notes. I really like that they made Paler such a big part. I I might be misremembering, but I don't think she was that much in the book between, you know, District 8, the, the hospital in District 8 being bombed, and then the very ending where, you know, oh, apparently these are Paler's men. So, you know, and, and it's suggested, you know, Paler probably knows that Coin did it, and she wants Katniss to be aware of that as well, so that she can act on it. And, yeah, and, and I do think that was, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love this one. I... I you know, show me where to go to vote for this woman for president, and I, I will. I, I don't even care that she, you know, just, yeah, I know she's an actor. I know it's just a character that worked for Reagan. Or just, yeah, make make it, yeah, man, she's she's really awesome. And I like that they gave her the, the speech, even in the trailer we see, you know, the, the sadistic game makers to make sports of our deaths and just yeah you know I'm, I'm not even sure I mean that's I feel like that's one of the things that in the book it's not even really a speech it's just Katniss describing to the reader that she has been told this about but you know they, they make it a speech of course because it's a movie and it's one that doesn't have narration and then they give it to, to Paler I, I don't know if they like saw how good she was in the District 8 scenes and then figured, you know what, she should have a bigger part or something, but yeah, she's just, she's awesome. I mean, if I hadn't, if I didn't know anything about these other than the movies and I was like, oh, hey, right, District 8, she's from the, I would still be cheering this woman on. She's just awesome. And yeah, I totally believe that she could lead a proper, you know, democratic, yeah. Now, I was really glad to see them do justice to the black goo. You know, it. I'm gonna try to quote the the actual description in the book. Not quite. It's it's not quite liquid. It's not quite gas. It's not natural. It's not mechanical. And it is. It really works. It's just this. What am I even looking? What is that? It's just. I don't want to be touched by that. It looks really, just. Yeah. It. That that is wrong. I do not want to be near that. You know. And the fact that they can then walk through it and it doesn't even leave footsteps. Like, just yeah. And the. I I don't remember if the if Mitchell dies at that point in the book, but he does die in the same way that Peter knocks him into like and was it like a separate trap that was just there and that then I'm I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, that that 
really worked. Just, yeah, you know, the, the black, just the, the animation and the whole thing. Not a tofu grace inside, just love it. Now, I really like the, the lizard, you know, mutts. The, the, yeah, just really horrifying. And the, you know, apparently no eyes. And, like, Katniss holds off one and it's just so close. You know, the, the whole scene with them fighting them really reminded me of Alien. And I think that is very intentional. And I'm so happy I can say this about a new movie. It reminded me of that movie without feeling like a ripoff. It didn't feel like they had just, you know, scripted this entire scene to just look exactly like that. You know, how an Edge of Tomorrow. They, okay, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's from Aliens, right? They're, that's Starship Troopers. You know, just, no, here it feels like Aliens without actually being just ripped, you know, just a straight rip-off. Just so happy to be able to say that about a current movie. And yeah, it's, it's, they're just, they're horrifying. And the, the fighting, you know, they knock Katniss into this thing. And then she emerges from the water. Just, yeah, you really feel like, I mean, they, they could kill her. And just, and Phoenix gets to, I really wish that they had in the book not only does the actually i'm not 100 percent certain if the you know if the trident he he gets if it can like open and shut the the kind of that it does here in the movie but it definitely it has this thing of he can throw it and then retract it and yeah, I when when he threw it, I thought that he would be able to retract it, but yeah, it was a pretty good heroic sacrifice. I don't think I particularly have anything left to say about the scene with the mutts. I I think they did really well on the various scenes with the 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 peacekeepers and such basically there were these little sudden jumps where you were expecting something to happen and then something else and the the lizard mutts were one of those things but the yeah the the bit where they are like Yeah, the, the car blows up and then they have to get away from it. And I I really think it when when they're moving towards, you know, they oh okay, we're gonna get to go straight up to Snows. And, you know, as long as we have these, you know, disguises, excellent, you know. And then they move and when they get, you know, yeah, and they, they spot you know, this, this little girl over the shoulder of, you know, her mother. And she can, you know, so she's looking behind her mother and she can see Katniss and she's like recognizing, you know, similar to, you know, I, I love that Katniss goes to the Camelindas and just tries to walk past these people as if she doesn't have the most recognizable face in all of Pan Am. You know, it's pretty ridiculous, but... I mean, at least in the book, she earned her way onto that squad. It wasn't just, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's it's instead of showing all these training, yeah, which also meant less less Joanna Mason, and that is just criminal. But the. Yeah, you know, so so she's kind of recognizing Katniss and it's like, oh crap, you know, and they get closer and closer and then, oh no, the, the peacekeepers are actually opening people, you know, they're identifying people. Okay, moving back, oh, okay, there's people coming from there, what do we do? And then, 
yeah, you know, explosion and action. And then suddenly this this little girl, I mean, we, we didn't like hate her. You know, she's she's a capital citizen, but we're not like hating her. She's like six or something. We don't and then suddenly she's mommy and it's just really, really devastating. And that again, that I'm almost certain was not in the book. I don't remember that from the book. And that was a really effective I mean it's 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 not quite the the red dress on the the little girl in in Schindler's List, but it's you know it's it's in the same vein. And again, it doesn't feel like a ripoff because these are two you know yeah there there are different scenes in in both cases. Yes. Now. I think that they did a pretty good job on Tigress, the the look and the just her her acting. I I really feel bad for her that there's so little of it in. Maybe maybe at least there's like deleted scenes or something. But I mean the the actress did great and the the makeup job and the whole thing. And I like again you know in the. In the book, it's like Katniss wondering to herself, oh, was it maybe like, or she hears from someone that this was maybe a while ago or something, but instead it's just Katniss says, I remember you, you used to be a stylist for the games. Yes, and then Snow felt, you know, just, yeah, that, that really works. And it gets the point across, but it's again, just, it's another character that really doesn't need to, you know, you know but yeah. And, you know, I think that it's, you know, the, the scenes where, you know, PETA is like saying, you know, Katniss, you have to cuff me again. I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, you know, she, she cuffs him. Okay, now the safe word. I'm horrible. And the, the thing about how Snow was inviting refugees to the, you know, again, I'm, I'm not sure that's, how it isn't well well there's something like that in the book but yeah in in general how this does you know the whole refugees thing very much but you know in, in the book it's even mentioned that well you know not everybody wants to let in refugees even though they're capital citizens you know I, I really thought that was compelling and the you know near the very end, you know, Buttercup emerges near Katniss, you know, and she's like, Prim isn't here, you know, go, go away. And of course, Buttercup being Buttercup does not do what Katniss wants her to do. So, you know, she just remains there and eventually Katniss is like, you know, get, gets close to it, almost embracing it, you know, realizing that in her situation, she will become a cat lady, so she might as well just go in there. And the, you know, the the whole time at the at the ending there, where she's explain, you know, where she's saying to the the kid in her arms, you know, you know, one day I'll explain to you about my nightmares, and you, and the kid is just like, I'm like 11 months old, I. I don't understand where you're saying I, this is a little much to lay on someone my age, don't you think? Now, in the Hunger Games, there is some wish, you know, the, the first book and movie, there is some wish, wish fulfillment. I don't think this one is too bad on that, or Catching Fire for that matter. Some say that the conclusion is rushed. I will say that the, excuse me, there are some elements that, excuse me, that don't get as much of, um, yeah, that, that just, that don't have the impact that it feels like they could and should have had. I really like how this is like the, you know, much like during the French Revolution, you know, the 
when when the oppressive government was overturned, the the people who had led the rebellion started executing the people who had been in power, including their relatives and their ch children, so that they wouldn't come back to power and do something, you know, to, to make sure that we're okay, and, and revenge and such. And in this and the book, it's, yeah, you know, we'll have a hunger game for the, you know, yeah. For, for the people. And, and again, in, in the book, it's just, you know, Katniss wondering to herself, I imagine that this is how the original Hunger Games were being planned by people in a room wanting revenge. And here, was it maybe PETA who said it? or it, Yeah, making it a line was very clever. But yeah, you know, and, and Coin is completely cynical about it. Satisfying the need for revenge with the smallest amount of casualties you know and yeah the the to that you know if if you look at it like that it makes sense you know it's it's just it's just simple math and it's just yeah it's really devastating and i think that they do a good job of you know it's like BD has that one line in, I think, the whole movie where it's just, you know, oh, we, sh we shouldn't do this, and so I vote no. You know, and Inubaria is like, yeah, let them have a taste of it, you know, and Joanna, even before I realized that, that, that Joanna Mason was in, I could just tell Joanna Mason's in the scene, you know, it, it, and then she says, the the last victors. Oh yeah, excellent. Joanna's gonna and and you know she's like yeah absolutely. Snow has a you know what was a granddaughter or something like that. So yeah you know, and that I mean, in the books, I think there's also that note about oh well he does have a granddaughter. So in the films we've actually seen her. We we've seen her. Yeah, she was in Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part One. You know, we don't see her in this, and we don't really need to, but in those, yeah, it was, there was this very clear, and, and, you know, thinking of her in the, you know, and also, I mean, she, you know, she looks just like Prim, just like the, the girl in, in Catching Fire and the Nightmare does, you know, they, they really capture this just youthful innocence, and this young girl just, yeah, and yeah, the thought of her in, but yeah, love me some Joanna though. But but yeah, it's um, I suppose that covers that. Yeah, and I wanted to go into apparently the inspiration for the Hunger Games as a concept, the the games themselves, from like the. Theseus, Theseus and the Minotaur, where Athens had to trip, you know, provide tributes of, of the, you know, children and such for killing the king. And, you know, the. Yeah, and, or killing the king's son, something like that, and they were put in the labyrinth with a minotaur where they all died, and then Theseus, the, you know, the son of the king of Athens, went in and, you know, he, he volunteered for that and killed the minotaur and led them out of the labyrinth, and that, yeah, makes up the... Now, in... We, we we're not told how they tortured Joanna in this, but in the book it specified that they like they they soaked her through and then they electrified her. So she is, you know, when when they get her back from the capital, she is just terrified of water, which and maybe this is why it's not in the movie. I feel like that might have been a stretch for. For Gina Malone, giving, given that for the first 10 years of her life, she lived in Lake Tahoe. At, you know, I, I assume that at age 10, she came up for air, exchanged her scales for a set of lungs, 
yeah. In the in the book, it's made more clear that something that really bothers Katniss about the nut in District Two is it's just like a coal mining accident, like the one that killed her father, and yeah, it really has that thing of just you know, the, you do get a little bit of the sense of that that you know we shouldn't be fighting; we're the same, but. Yeah, the the fact that you know what what her people just did, what they just agreed to do, is like what happened to you know. So so to do that to someone else, yeah, it really you know jogs a lot of bad memories. But they were out of shape, so maybe a good thing. I in in the book. Katniss sings in in yeah during during like her recovery from the the fires and the fire and yeah I so I was expecting this to be the you know to to make Catching Fire the only one where she didn't sing but now there's you know it's yeah, she, she doesn't sing in this, and she doesn't sing in Catching Fire unless you count the one time that she ate a plum. I really feel like I should have seen coming that at some point Katniss would actually be on fire in these books, because it's, you know, thoroughly foreshadowed, but yeah, you know, suddenly she's literally on fire, you know, this woman whose spirit was forged in fire and who's galvanized a nation, you know, and I, I, yeah, I, I knew that they would actually have to put that in, that, that, well, I mean, I guess technically they didn't have to, but yeah, I'm really glad that they did, you know, it's, it's just brief, I mean, in the book, it's like months of recovery and like the skin has to be you know new skin grafts and such and here it's of course just really short but still the fact that they actually did it really yeah now this of course cut out the training between you know yeah that that led up to Katniss properly joining squad 451 and I can't believe the only reason that Robert Knepper was there was so that they could have an on-screen occurrence of President Snow poisoning one of his guys and you know both of them drinking from the city. I get it. I mean, yeah, you know, the the books don't technically have a scene like that. We're only told by Finnick that that has happened, but I don't think there it was really necessary to see as a yeah and then that he apparently does it so publicly here doesn't really make sense for the whole you know he's been doing it really secretly and just to you know gradually you know get more and more power and then suddenly he's just doing it um, yeah just and it, it just there there is no reason for there to be uh, you know if you're going to invent a character have it be more meaningful and or remove some of the ones that really didn't need to be there. Yeah. And I cannot believe they cut Joanna's calling Katniss brainless. That I I love that. In the book. And she even calls Joanna it back later. And just yeah, I mean and the scene is right there. You know, she comes out, oh, you don't mind if I borrow some your morphling, right? And just, and I was just waiting, okay, brainless, brainless, and a cut, and it's just, no, it was just, it's so good, it's so good, maybe it's there as a deleted scene, I, I, I hope so, but, yeah, just, and I suppose that more or less covers everything that I want to say, I, didn't really think that they would actually in the book the the climax is indeed 
you know, I mean, I'm basically the the last really big action scene there is ends with Katniss on fire. So yeah, if that really is the last action scene in this big blockbuster action movie, and yeah, they they actually did it. They didn't, you know, and they didn't rush through the next scenes. It genuinely, yeah, you know, because there's not that big of a, you know, the 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 riot when you know when she kills Snow Coin instead of Snow. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's not big the way yeah and the yeah I, I really like that they did stick with that that they, they didn't try to inject you know action in a way that obviously wouldn't have worked and I thought this when I you know when I first watched the, the trailers and I still say that is a really long walk for poor Katniss to have to go you know segue or something just it's it's just you know it's a good shot for sure but having to walk all that way just to shoot one person you know it's just yeah I mean this is the girl who was on fire remember is just you know this is not someone who's been preparing for this forever and just yeah and I think that basically covers I I really wish that they had given more you know yeah that that characters like Finnick especially because Finnick has a lot of great stuff in the book that yeah you know so that when he dies it doesn't feel I mean if it's been a long time since you watched Catching Fire and part one, then you're almost, you know, and you've almost forgotten Finnick is, is, you know, and he's such a great character. And for his death to have that little of a real impact is just, yeah, it just, it should be a bigger kind of, yeah. And I think feel like in the book the with the lizard they they mostly just try to run away and you know shoot them but yeah just trying to run away rather than fighting them all so much and and fighting them in general like they do in this i do think that in this they have Katniss use the explosive arrows too much i feel like that's pretty much all she does when she Face, you know, when she shoots at them, she also gets to do a little bit with a knife. That's basically like she, Finnegan, and Peta, Gale, maybe? Everyone gets to use a knife against them a little bit. That was quite good. Yeah, and, and that's where Peta's cuffs get chewed. Yeah, but, but. Yeah, I just I feel like they they did that a little too much. I mean, in in the book, again, if I recall, the you know her blowing up the thing had a you know yeah it had a bigger impact because it was one of the only explosions in that. Yeah, I the bit where the floor is like collapsing underneath them in the book, it basically just opens like. Yeah, and they're like almost, you know, sliding down, and it it's it gets to be just vertical, where she's like just barely holding on, and I feel like isn't there a scene like that? I I haven't watched any of the other YA adaptations, but I feel like there's at least one of them where in the trailer there's a scene like that, so I can see why they maybe wanted to get rid. And another reason they might have cut the training in this. Is that during the training, Katniss figured, you know, they're they're gonna be tested for the one thing that they would never do and they have to prove it. And Katniss realizes, 
I have to take an order, and she takes an order, and she succeeds. That really feels like divergent kind of thing. I again, I only watched the trailers. I have no opinion about any. Of, I just feel like that really seems like something that was, yeah, that that could have been in there, like a test to see the the something very personal, and then you, yeah, just. And that it's yourself, almost, in a way that's, yeah. Again, for all I know, there are amazing books, even better movies, and just mind-blowing, and I should totally go, and, but, I'm just, this, this was the one YA that I felt like that might be, you know, I was really fortunate, because I might as well have ended up on one of the others and I really almost did go for Ender's Game which I I understand is a great book it's just the movie that isn't so good but yeah again just based on what I've heard but yeah let me think is there anything else capital peacekeepers I think it did a really good job of showing that everybody was in danger, like, there was friendly fire, you couldn't be sure that you weren't hitting civilians, and you couldn't be sure that you wouldn't hit anyone, like, you almost don't see peacekeepers as particular, you know, being particularly violent or dangerous in this, you, you know, we recognize that they are because they are peacekeepers, they're wearing the same uniforms, but in this, a lot of the time, the peacekeepers you know, they're like, we're watching them attack somewhere that they maybe think that the Square 451 is, but they're not. There's, it's just the leagues, which obviously sucks, but, you know, they, they think that what they're doing is much more important than... And then, like, you know, Gale takes some out, and, you know, they're staying there checking people's, you know, yeah, figuring out if... You know, so that they don't let the mocking chicken, I guess. I, I don't know if they really were thinking to that degree, but yeah. And the... Yeah, it's... And and then there at the end, you know, the, the peacekeepers run in and try to help the... Yeah, I, I really... I am ecstatic that they actually kept that fully intact, that you know, the, they all run in and then, you know, oh, it's a, it's a capital, you know, hovercraft, and the, the, you know, all the, the silver parachutes and, and the, the noise, that noise that they give off, and, you know, they all grab them, and, you know, I mean, even when I saw that shot in the trailer, after having listened through the audiobook, you know, I was like, oh man, they're actually gonna, oh, that's gonna be horrifying, and they actually did it, and you know, they blow up, and then, medic, medic, and prim, prim, and see, and then blows up, and Katniss is on fire, and just, yeah, really, really horrifying. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.